Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday, May 3rd. It is the feast day of Saints Philip and James. It's day 80 of Be Formed, only 10 more days. And uh, our Catholic sports camps are coming up this summer. Baseball and softball, basketball, hockey, tennis, and soccer. So catholicsportscamps.org, you can find more information there. So as we know, Philip and James were two of the apostles. And let's look at the readings as they pertain to these two men. So in the first reading, we hear about James. And in the gospel, we hear about Philip. So this James that we're talking about today is not the brother of John, the sons of Zebedee. This is James the Lesser. If you watch The Chosen, uh, he's the one with the, the bad leg. Um, and so... This is St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. I'm reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preach to you. So what is the gospel? And he lays out the basics of the gospel. Listen to how clear this is. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I received. Christ died for our sins, uh, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, and he appeared to others. So, and we hear this in the creed that we... Um, recite every Sunday. So he's died, buried, raised, and then the, who did he appear to? He appeared to Peter, the first pope. Then he appeared to the twelve. He appeared to more than 500 brothers. And after that, he appeared to James, the one that we're celebrating today, and all the apostles. And all of these people were then so convinced of the truth that Jesus lived died, was buried, and rose to new life, that they went out and many of them gave their lives for Christ. Um, James and, and Philip did do that. And then in the gospel, uh, this is John chapter 14, Jesus says to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know the Father. And so this, this kind of makes me laugh every time. Uh, and then Philip said to a master, show us the father and that will be enough for us. And so we believe that um, Philip was a disciple of John the Baptist originally. And then John the Baptist pointed him to Jesus. And so he came to follow Jesus. And so you can imagine Jesus kind of slapping his forehead like, Philip, you, you, you've been with me how long and you don't get this? He says, have I been with you for so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? Jesus probably does this to us as well. You know, how long have we been following him? And how long have we, you know, been, been learning and then we still doubt and question? He says, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? So Jesus says, the Father and I are one. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Scripture says he's the perfect reflection of the Father. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? And this leads to the doctrine of the Holy Trinity that, one God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. He's reiterating this. And then uh, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and greater ones. Now that's a promise. Jesus raised people from the dead and he says, if we believe we can do even greater things than Jesus. And then he finishes by, if you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. What does he mean by that? You've heard me say God's not a magic, magic gumball machine. Um, God doesn't just answer to our whims. But I think when we pray to be specific, to seek, ask, and knock, but ultimately, like Jesus says and Mary says, not my will, but yours be done. And the more that we align our will with the will of the Father, whatever he gives us is going to be in his will. And we can be at peace with that. But when we think, well, I want this, this, and this, and you know, I have all these expectations of God, and then he doesn't meet it, then I'm just going to walk away from God. Um, that's not how God works. Um, there are things that happen in our lives that we don't understand. I've, I've had many of them myself, and I've, I've questioned, I've doubted. But the Lord has shown me that even in the worst things, even in death, you know, Jesus, who lived, died, was raised to new life and appeared to people. He's saying, you will rise with me. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope.
And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for Saints Philip and James. Help us to follow their example. Help us to be convinced of the truth of who you are, that you and the Father are one. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To into your families, buen camino, and God bless you. Please pray for me, and I promise to pray for you.